Hi everyone, this is BrioBoy2009. Despite my name, in this video I'm going to be doing a Brio train review that isn't Brio at all. Where did I put that thing? Oh, there it is. Anyway, this review is going to be on the Wild Toys 40-piece classic train set. I picked this up at a store called Mighty Toy for very cheap. It cost me about $49.95. So it is pretty cheap for what it is. The box says that it has lights and sounds. It comes with 40 pieces. It is recommended for children ages 3 and up. And it includes over 25 feet of track. And it also has this ticket for the WoW Toys Railroad, which is a cool addition. Just so you know, it is from the year 1767. Trains weren't actually invented until 1830, let alone trains that look like this. Although I do think it's train number 1767. Let's look at the back of the box. Oh, did I mention that it has a carry case packaging so you can take it wherever you want? On the back, you can see that it has a cool detailing. An instruction on how to put the batteries in. And then, the train set comes with enough track to make five different track layouts. For the purposes of this train review, I will be making an oblong with circle train layout. And it also has the top ten railroading fun facts. If you'd like, you can pause the video and read them. Enough talk, let's open this bad boy up. Voila! There, isn't editing fantastic? The train set all comes packaged in a styrofoam tray. And it includes everything you need to get up and running in a short time. The train set pieces, well, the track pieces, are clipped together by these things, these pegs here. Let's get some of the curves out. Can't get into them. There we go. We'll put them aside here for now, right next to the Brio loading station. Here we have some more curves. And we also have these short curves, which are necessary for creating the figure eight layout. I'll be creating the oblong with circle layout, so they are not necessary and I will not be using them for the purpose of this video. Then we have even more curves here. We have six here. Yep, six, and we have Eight here, so eight plus six, that would be 14. Then here we have a couple of switch tracks. We have one to the left and one to the right. I'll put those here. And a couple more curves, that makes 16 in total. Here we have two straight tracks. And up here, we have some more straight tracks. I think there's about six of them in here. Yep, there's six, all right. And we also have this super cool cross track. Can't get it out. Just a minute, fellas. Got it out. Since I'll be making the oblong with circle layout, I will not be using the cross track. Okay, so now here are the other pieces. The set also comes with a station. Oh no, it's broken. Just kidding, the roof is right here. If you're curious about what the signs say, it says New York this way. And Alaska this way, with a little rose on it. The signs don't say anything on the other side. I'll put the station there. Put it in nice and neat. 
And now we can get to these train cars, which are the most fun piece. So here is the locomotive. This is engine number 5656 of the Brioville and Wild Toys Railroad. And it has these wheels here. They are detailed. Speaking of detail, this train has a lot of it. Surprised at how much detail this thing has for a toy train. Uh, let's see, where should I put them? Uh, there we go. Then we have the tender here. Just gonna take it out. It does have a pretty realistic coal load. And it has this really cool light here. It doesn't actually flash though. The lettering on the tender is actually very, very crisp and you can read it. It says size acreage capability and there ICAWAD. I have no idea what those things stand for. All right, uh, please excuse me while I get the other cars out of the box and the trees too. It comes with four trees. Here is everything that the train set includes. 16 curve tracks, eight straight tracks, four short curve tracks, four trees, one cross track, two switches, one train station, one 080 switcher steam locomotive, one tender, one container car, one hopper car, although Wow Toys describes it as a tanker car incorrectly, and one very robust looking passenger car. All right, now I'm going to put the track together. As I mentioned earlier, I will be creating the oblong with circle track layout for the purposes of this video. So I will not be using all of the track, obviously. So sit back, relax, and watch me make the track. First things first, I'm going to have to remove all of these train cars out of the way so that they don't get in my way. Now I need to make a piece of curve track six pieces long. There's the sixth. Put it way up at the end of the layout. Then use six other curve tracks to create a shape just like that one. Can't get these two to connect for some reason. Oh well, I'll try another one. There we go. These tracks can be a, a bit of a finicky problem sometimes, so be very careful if you have this train. If you don't, it does make a great set to give you, to give to your kids for the holidays or for a birthday. That's my dog Rocco in the background. I try to tell him to stop barking, but he never stops for some reason. Then you have to put the switches in. I'm just gonna move Jet Wing out of there for some safety precautions. After that, you get the straight tracks and form two lengths of straight track, each eight pieces long. I have made the rest of the track connections off camera. Here's the track that was left over from building the set. It wasn't a ton. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to put batteries in the train before I can get it to run. For your information, guys, this video is not sponsored by WoW Toys or Mighty Toy. So to get the engine working, you first need to unscrew the batteries. Well, unscrew the battery cover. Take off the battery cover. Install two AA batteries. And finally, close the cover back up. So now we're ready to put the train on the track. 
First start with the engine, of course. Put that on the track. Then comes the tender. Let me grab that real quick. Put it in. Then the cars were connected with a simple latch system, which is very clever. Although the train is big, it is easy for little hands, or even big ones like mine, to put on the rails. Although it is a bit finicky to connect the cars when you hold a camera. Alright, we've got the train all up on the track. So now it's time to give the train its official first run. This thing is fast! Uh oh, it derailed! The reason the train derailed was because a switch was set to the wrong position. That click you just heard was me resetting the switch. As we speak, I'm currently putting the train back on the track, and we're gonna have a take two. Alright, for real this time, here we go. This thing goes fast for a toy train set. Now I'm gonna switch the track so the train can run on the circle portion of the layout. Making sure not to make the same mistake this time. And it derailed again. There we go. All right, so that is the Wow Toys steam engine with a lot of derailments train set. There's not much else to say, so I'm just going to be ending the review right here. See you next time on Brio Boy 2009. And remember, keep your friends close and your trains closer. Hey, I said keep your trains closer. Get back here. <sighs> trains can really be annoying sometimes. Here's a shot of the train station to finish off the video. Alright, bye guys!